Right. So when it comes... Because the Inquisition and the Crusade started from here, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, right, Islamic history is part of the Ummah historically. Absolutely. They're very proud because Islamic Spain was very advanced in terms of its culture, its learning, its science, compared to Christian Europe, which was very backward <laughs> at that time. Welcome to Blogging Theology. Today I'm in Alhambra, which is in Granada in the south of Spain, in this extraordinary palace. Um, and I'm joined by uh, a Spanish Muslim, Ali. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, Paul. I hope you're having a lovely time here in Spain. And I hope you're loving our culture and our history and our past and we have to offer. So my first question to you is, what, why is Alhambra important? And, and also, what, why is it important that Muslims should know about this extraordinary place? So first of all, Alhambra is a historical uh, monument declared by UNESCO. It's very important for us Muslims because this is, our, this is part of our history, this is part of who we are, and this is a very beautiful, very, very, very beautiful piece of art piece of history, it has a lot of uh, morals and a lot of history attached to it of what Muslims should and shouldn't do. Right. So when was this uh, palace built? So this palace was built in the 9th century and actually it was, it was at first a military base and it was and became a palace as we know it today in the 3rd century with Muhammad Nasser the first of Granada. And that's when they started to build all this type of architecture and all this type of geometry. <coughs> so, uh, I would like to talk about the name. A lot of people think that it's called the Alhambra because the bricks are red, and that's one yeah, opinion. Yeah, yeah. But when it comes to the Muslim uh, uh, historians, they say that it's called the Alhambra because when it was built, it was built under the lights of the torches. Wow. So, the torches were given that red light, and that's why it's called the Alhambra. Uh, I see. So, um, why is this place uh, important to, for Muslims to remember, do you think? So, yes. Alhambra. First of all, to know what was Al-Andalus. Al-Andalus was, for a very, very, very long period of time, was uh, actually like the New York of our time. It was the life of civilization. From here, uh, science. So, it was a Muslim uh, country, it was a Muslim nation, yeah, here, yeah. here in southern Spain. So yes, yeah, they were saying uh, Al Andalusia was a torch, a light of knowledge for Europe and for the whole Muslim world for centuries. And Al Ambra and Granada signifies that because it's a symbol it's still here, and we Muslims should know because this is part of our history. Of right, so it's part, of, it's part of Islamic history. This is part of the Ummah historically. Absolutely, and very proud because Islamic Spain was very advanced in terms of its culture, its learning, its science, compared to Christian Europe, which was very backward <laughs> at that time. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, a lot of knowledge that was <coughs> the Renaissance, it came through here, through Al-Andalus and the knowledge. And this is extraordinary view, by the way. This is a view of Granada. When the Catholics were uh, conquering Granada, you know, the last the last uh, uh, bastion of power for Muslims. A lot of Muslim women were taking their babies and jumping off the cliffs, really? you know? Because they knew... Well, what were they afraid of? Well, why were the Muslim women afraid of the Christians? They were afraid of the Spanish Inquisition because later on, they proved their fear to be true. Right. So when it comes... Because the Inquisition and the Crusade started from here, didn't they? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they obviously went into the Muslim world, uh, the rest of the Muslim world. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, what they did, they took the, the babies, the Muslim, <coughs> the Muslim women, they would take it to the north to Christianize them, and they would take the women, you know, right. enslave them, or talk so to, to them. So the Christians forced the Muslims to become Christian. Uh, yeah, for a very uh, long time. Yeah. And we, we here develop a whole tradition of uh, Muslim people taking a Christian name, a Christian identity, and keeping the Muslim faith private. Right. Right. Not only Muslim, actually, Muslim and, 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 and Jews. 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 And Jews. Yeah, Jews are also persecuted by the Christians. Absolutely. Uh, in Spain. Very bad, very bad persecution. Very bad wow, persecution. This, is, this, is, this is a beautiful uh, setting. I mean, if, if, you, if you're not here, it's because it's actually very, very hot here. But these gardens and this water really help to um, Cool down the weather. Cool, cool down the yeah. Cool down in Spanish, in Spanish terms. I don't know what's in well, the yeah, it, 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 it's, it's still a heat wave. Uh, <laughs> and here we go, uh, final part here. So, yeah, so this is the Alhambra. 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 Yeah,
So right this now is, we're going to get to the this is Alhambra, the palace to the mosque here in Granada. Yeah, and uh, of course the Muslim mosque here is uh, yeah is really actually actually I want you to see the mosque because yeah it's very interesting in the mosque. <clears throat> I want to I want you guys to experience the <clears throat> the size of the mosque compared to the size of the Alhambra and the yes. size of the palace. Yes. yes. This place took me hours and hours, and I've come here multiple times, and ha I haven't seen it. Yeah. Yeah. Whole. Look, you can see that small building. That, that's, that, that's, that's the mosque. That's the mosque. It's a tiny building over here. Well, I wanna, so unfortunately, we can't uh, go into the mosque because they're closing. But um, that little building over there that's is the mosque. mosque. And you can, I've you can see the mosque for the whole palace. There was, it was, it was very small. Very small. This one. This one is the yeah, mosque. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, even the qibla is wrong. The qibla is wrong. It comes to the mosque. Nothing to do with Petra. It just happened to be a mathematical error. Yeah, <laughs> nothing to do with Petra. It was a mathematical error that. It got due to the curvature of the yeah, air. Yeah, yeah. So you can see there were masses of water. <coughs> How the water is flowing. Yeah. And it all ends up in that little lake. Right. You wanted to jump out cold water? Or you... I do, but maybe <laughs> I'll wait till I get home now. <laughs> um, hey, guys, if any of you want some water. No, I'm fine, thank you. Well, thank you very much, uh, Ali, for uh, you're obviously a Spanish Muslim, and thank you very much for thank showing you very us much. in Alhambra. And uh, it's a beautiful place. Mm. And, I would uh, like to invite to uh, every Muslim. Uh, uh, Ali's going to say a few words in yeah. uh, Spanish, inshallah. Yeah. So, first of all, I want to speak to all Muslims, United Kingdom, United States, Malaysia, Indonesia, Egypt, anywhere you are, we Spanish Muslims are very welcoming. Please come to know your heritage, come to know your history. Very beautiful place. Spanish people and Spanish Muslims are both very welcoming. And I would like to raise awareness. We've got an organization that teach, teaches Arabic to non-Arabic speakers. I leave the link below, or Brother Paul, in the, the link, link, the link, the link below. in the description below. Yep. You can donate. It's a non-profit organization and you help people know here, especially that we have a very small Muslim community, learn how to read and write Arabic and how to read the Quran. And thank you very much. Es finish in Spanish. Yeah. Chicos, me gustaría que España fuera un punto de conexión para los musulmanes de todo el mundo. Todos sabemos que los musulmanes españoles somos muy abiertos, muy acogedores. Y España y los españoles os eh, dan la bienvenida para que vengáis y, es y estudien la historia y estudien todo lo que tenemos aquí que ofrecer de cultura, lo cual es muy rico y muy bonito. Muchas gracias y hasta la próxima. Perfect. Okay. I have no idea what you said, but it sounded really Yeah, good. but it sounded very cool, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's all that matters. I think, I think that's it.